point slope form, write an equation from a graph. Recall that to write an equation in point slope form, we need two things, a point and the slope. Let's find a point on this line. In this case, one is already highlighted for us, so we can use this point. The ordered pair here is 6, 7. So using, using this ordered pair, we will type these values into the equation that's already set up for us. The first value of this ordered pair is 6 for the x. So we type 6 here. The second value, 7 for the y. So we type 7 here. Now let's identify the slope. We can use any other point on this line to help us identify the slope. In this case, I will move on down towards the left of this line here until finding another point. Now from this point to this point, recall I always recommend to move from left to right when identifying the slope. The rise is positive because it's moving upward from left to right. Now we rise one, two, three, four, five units, and we run one, five over one. Five over one can be reduced to five. That's because five divided by one is simply five. Therefore, the slope we type is five. And here's your equation in point slope form. Let's try another similar to this one with larger values for the increments. So now let's start with this point here. The x value, negative 90. We type negative 90. And the y value, positive 40. After the y minus, we will type a positive 40. Now, before identifying the slope, let me mention that if you were writing this equation from scratch, you would want to simplify this double negative or this minus negative to a plus because to subtract the negative does mean to add. But in this case, because the equation was set up for us, we can leave it as is. Okay, now let's identify the slope. We can use this given point and this other point here. The rise in this case, counting by 10, is 10 over 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. 10 over 50. If you think of the fraction, 10 over 50, you can reduce by dividing both by 10. That becomes 1 over 5. Let's again do another where we are writing the equation from scratch. So in this case, let's take the ordered pair 1,000 and the y value 500. So if we start the equation, y minus, I'll leave a space there, equals, leave a space for the m, and then parentheses x minus, leave a space, parentheses. So set up the equation as the ones that were given. And let's start with our x value, which we said was 1,000, and the y value, which is 500. And from here, our slope, using any other point, I'll go from here to here. The rise is downwards, that's negative, down 100 over 1, 2, 3, 4, 500. That's down 100, so negative 100 over 500, which again must be reduced. Divide both values by 100, that gives us 1 over 5. So that is negative 1 over 5. And that's how you write your equations in point-slope form.